Hello everyone and today I am going to give a quick tutorial on how I keep track of and install over 100 mods through my various playthroughs. I use the Novus Banner Launcher which allows me to create multiple presets depending on the mods that I want to play with. So if I want to do a hardcore run for uh, a certain playthrough I have my mod list here but then if I want to switch over to my companion only run i can switch to a new preset and it will give me a whole new list that i curated for that specific playthrough and all of the mods that i have in my mod folder are going to be listed over here and i can freely drag and drop as needed when i want to add more mods now what you're going to want to do is head over to the nexus mods for mountain blade bannerlord and then up in the search, you're going to want to type in Novus Bannerlord Launcher. So I already have it up on my most recent search. So go to the Novus Bannerlord Launcher, pull up that page here, and then you're going to want to go over into the Files tab. And then you have the option for a launcher installation or, the, uh, or to install it manually. I just go ahead to go to the installer. It's nice, quick, and easy. I do recommend to manually download all of these mod files. You can do th everything through the mod manager uh, through Vortex, but I find Vortex has a lot more issues than uh, it's worth. So I just do manual download. It's an extra five, uh, extra five seconds worth of work. So go ahead and get that downloaded and open it up. And you can open it up with any sort of zip file uh, opening program. And then you're just going to want to run through the installation, make sure it's going through the right path. This should all be automatic. Uh, so you just go all the way through and install. Now, while that is installing, if you are new to the channel, hello and welcome. Consider subscribing and liking the video if you're finding this helpful. I make Bannerlord videos and have several playthroughs on the channel that you might find interesting. You can check them out here. I also do stream Fire Emblem every Friday as well. I'm looking to expand into more tactical base games such as Fire Emblem or Battle Brothers as well as maybe even the Total War series. So if any of that interests you, I look forward to seeing you return to the channel. Once you have the program installed, it'll have the launcher icon right here. So go ahead and open that and it should bring you this launcher menu right here. And then all of your mods listed will be on the right side and then your load order will be on the left. Now, as for getting your mods, you have two options. You do have the Steam option through the workshop. So if you just go to the Steam Workshop, there's a variety of mods you can choose. Uh, so you can just go into, let's say, Project Korea. You just hit subscribe. It will download the mod to your game. And once it's done downloading, it will, you just hit the refresh over here and it should eventually show up. So this one is, it'll take a while to download, but when it does, it'll show up over here. And then the other option is to go through Nexus Mods. So we can go back here to our updated, uh, browse whatever mods strike our fancy. For me, I do have, let's say I wanted Immersive Battlefields, which I do recommend. It is a fantastic mod to uh, give battles a little bit more life to them. So what you do is you go into the mod page, uh, over to the files, and then you do the manual download Again, if you want to use the Vortex, you can do the Vortex as well. Uh, again, I have issues with Vortex, so I just choose not to use it. Just do manual. It takes five seconds. So you download mod, open it up. Here you go. And then you want to go into your modules folder. So that's through your um, program files, Steam, Steam apps, Common, Mountain Blade 2, Bannerlord, modules. And then it will list all of the mods you have uh, installed into the game. Now, when you do this, every time you add in a mod that you already have in here, so if, say, I'm going to update Immersive Battlefields, I'll find it in this mod list. So I already have it in here. Delete the mod, and then we're going to just drag it back in. Every time you want to update your mods, before I would drag in the new Improved Garrisons file, I would go ahead and delete it and then drag it in. That's so that there is no any sort of issues that would come with the files overriding each other. Uh, all of the modders would recommend you do that as well. All right, so then we have all, of, once we have all of the mods that we 
uh, want to try and add, then we can go ahead and set up our load orders. So by default, you'll have the native uh, tail world modules uh, already so sorted. And what I would recommend is I just recommend automatically getting the Harmony stack. Most mods are going to need to use and just set that load order up. So you're going to want to go ahead and put the butter stack and just go ahead and save it as your default preset because almost every single mod is going to require Harmony, Butter Library, UI Extender, and Mod Configuration Menu. And then I do have Better Exception window in here as well as if any issues arise most modders are going to require you to have the files generated by the better exception window to find the problem you can find these mods both on steam and through the nexus uh, all of your steam mods will show up here as well so we did download the project korea item list from steam so if we go here Here's Project Korea. And now from here, it is just a matter of putting in your desired mods. This will take quite a bit of time as you try and figure out the correct load orders. The best way to do this is to add one mod at a time. Go ahead and hit play, load up your game, make sure that it doesn't crash, and then add in the next one. Hit play again, load up your game, make sure it doesn't crash, then add in the next one. Because if you start adding in every single mod you have on this list in random orders and not really care uh, what is, where's what and what's going where, and then you try and boot it up and then you get a crash. Now you have to sort through uh, 15 mods you added in uh, to figure out which one is the problem. So just do it one at a time. Make sure everything is uh, working and in order until you get to your desired load order and list. So it does take a while, but generally speaking, once you get your load order set out, uh, you do not have to mess with it pretty much ever again unless mods uh, update and break each other. So this is what I use for my various playthroughs to get my mod list under control. If you found this guide helpful, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, I will try my best to answer them in the comments. I am uh, not an expert on load order, but if there's any sort of clarifications that are needed, I can try to uh, explain as best I can. And if you're looking for some of these load orders that I have in action, I do have a couple of playthroughs on the channel that you can check out as well. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you return for the next video.